She's about to give birth, okay? <laughs> okay, she's taking her motorcycle. This is beautiful. This is the way you do it. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. This is an introduction. I should have planned it more properly because it's actually not that late, but it's late considering I don't want to put on full makeup because after I'm finished filming this, I'm going to go straight to bed because I'm fully showered. I don't want to put on makeup just to wash it off again. So you're fully seeing me. This week, I've uh, discovered a new friend. So that that's where we are right now. Um, the worst spot like this dead center of my face is this guy we should name it i don't know what we should name it leave it in the comments below it needs a it needs a name to get the hell out of here we need to call its name and say whatever your name is leave please i do not approve of your existence on my face okay and goodbye but uh goodbye to this not goodbye to you because we've got a whole video where I'm going to introduce my current household in The Sims 3. So let's go. So this is my current household. They're called the Linkfords, and I really like their story. So I'm a sucker for any love stories that have like two best friends fall, like, fall in love with each other. So this is kind of how it started that they were best friends, and little behold, they had feelings for each other, but they were afraid to let each other know. With what I'm going to tell you in their story, they eventually found each other, and they have a beautiful home together. So, starting off, we have Elise Linkford. Let me show her. She's gorgeous. I just recently gave her a makeover because she's she's pregos, you know? I gave her a haircut, made her a little bit more mature, because for the longest time she looked like a 21-year-old, but I feel like she's 26. 6, 20, you know, she's a mama and she's a mature woman now. You have Elise and Carson. So when I started this household, Elise was in a relationship with Vincent and they originally met when they both worked at the fire uh, department career. They actually got pregnant. Now, they weren't like a serious thing. They were together, but you know, it wasn't a thing that they were like, yeah, you and I were gonna be together forever you know it wasn't like that and he he didn't want to be a parent or a father he wasn't for that so she they broke it off she had nowhere else to go so she moved in with Carson her best friend while she was fully pregnant he basically raised Elena here, pretty much. So over the years, they, they eventually fell for each other. Carson was there for everything for her, and I thought that was super sweet. Alrighty, I wanted her to make the bed. Oh, bless you. Bless you, lady. So they moved in together. You have screenshots of him with Lisa and everything. So Riley, he was in the fire department. He wasn't really serious as soon as... He heard about her pregnancy he got a different job okay he decided that he wanted to be come an acrobat and I never played this character I mean they're kind of good friends but he became a fire dancer he went from being a firefighter to a fire dancer you know I guess he kind of had life crisis he's like I gotta change I can't I can't do this so he moves like in a totally different direction <laughs> so that's why she's like okay I can't count on you because you're off playing with fire instead of you know taking care of fires so that was definitely his priority um, over the years they eventually became friends like but for Elena she considers her dad, Carson, because he was always there. So that that's super cute. Now, let me introduce Carson. You have Carson Linkford. He is a well-known hockey player. His stars kind of went down a little bit because he... I So I had a mod that installed the, the career for the hockey player, but they leveled up so fast that I kind of wanted him to work up to it. So I changed to the regular athletic career that they had for base game from my my hockey career mod that I got from pretty sure mod the sims or something like that but they move up so fast that I wanted something that he could like grind more to so moving him to that in my game perspective I feel like there was management problems 
and they had to drop him and all the players. So he was making good money in that hockey career. Let me tell you, he was at the top of the career. He was making lots of money. Now in professional sports, let's say it's a different management. Look, his salary was not like that. It was a big drop. They had the change of management, the change of jobs, just when they were in the middle of building their new house. So that's, that's an issue. And I say building a house. They weren't just building the house. Ladies and gentlemen, they were building a mansion because they thought they could afford it. <laughs> yeah, but they can't. I mean, in their dreams, one of these days, he really wants to get to level 10. And I feel like once he gets that, we're going to grind, grind, grind. But this is the house that they want. Elena is Prego's. So, and they re they don't have room for another baby in that house. So they need to make money super fast. That's my that's my goal to make money super fast. So Elena, she I told you that she originally worked as a firefighter. And they are in the world, St. Clair. Beautiful world. Um so I had her change from the firefighter to I feel like she could make more money as in the culinary career. I feel like there's more level up there. Maybe I'm wrong. But I also wanted her to have a more stable job. I feel like culinary career, that's like, that's for her more than the firefighter. I feel like that's like a job that she volunteered for and she always did in high school. She likes to dabble in the food department and she's going back to sleep. She's super tired. She's like, it's too early. <laughs> So with her cooking thing, she I actually had her create a blog. That's her thing. She's a food blogger and she wants to eventually be a top chef for sure. So that's her goal. I wonder if you could make money off of blogs. I've got to install a mod because I feel like I could have her gain star points for that or um, famous points, I guess. I feel like that would be good. And then they have Riley. Riley, Riley, Riley. He is... Oh, he's lonely. He's... I swear, we take some better care of him than what's happening right now. He's just a little sleepy. Alrighty. He's he's so cute. But let me um show you their house. So, their house is super cute. It's a uh, very suburban. So, you got the green door. It I've upgraded this so much. Um, And actually, Carson, he's got a special talent other than playing hockey and he likes to take pictures he that's one of his skills so these are a couple of pictures that he took his favorite are black and white photos um of riley when riley was little baby not baby baby but a lot younger than he is now and that's super cool and i think yeah this 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 is another photo of, that he took so this is Elena's room. Super pretty, kept with the mint and pink. You've got a bathroom with a nice puddle, probably from Riley. You've got a broken sink, a beautiful broken sink with a smelly fridge. This is a great house, guys, I recommend. Um, but I really had fun doing this. I feel like since Elise is a blogger, this kitchen looks like such like a YouTube like backdrop for like those cooking shows that they do on YouTube. So in my opinion, that's what she does. I feel like she would be definitely like an imp influencer on like Instagram and YouTube. So she's working up on that. Um, and then you kind of saw their bedroom. This is where the couple sleeps. I really like it. I had fun messing around with this backdrop. That is base game. It's really fun playing with base game like patterns and trying to make it modernized by just a little bit of colors and it's fun. I recommend. But that doesn't mean that I cannot play without CC because I love my CC. Um, this is a piece of CC that is pretty awesome, very modern and minimalist, I would say. I love this bassinet, which is ready for the new baby. I'm hoping that it's a boy. I'm going to have her eat some fruits that make her have bo a boy or like heightens the rate of boys. So excited about that. Oh, I guess this is another picture that he took. Carson and this is her blogging station very Pinterest for sure <laughs> this Elena I feel like she's she's smarty pants so I I want her to learn more logic skills and let me talk about Elena more so Elena here is 
She's brave, shy, and a heavy sleeper. So I really don't know exactly what I want to do with her, but I feel like it would be fun exploring the ghost hunting career with her in the future. But since there's nothing that we could do with um, skill, build skill building with her right now, I have her working on her art skill. She hasn't leveled up yet, but she's in the art club. I might change that. We'll see what else activities there are that might help cater to her future events in um, ghost hunting. So that's exciting. <laughs> but anyway, right now, this is where the family's at. I had so much fun with Carson when he was in the hockey career. I had built all of his teammates, which I have to re-employ because you got one teammate here, Chase Post. You have Rufus Blankchard, which, oh, I already put him in the same career. Sometimes, oh, he's apparently a werewolf. That's not true. Ignore all like the supernatural things. And then this is another, Rigberto. He's in our team. I think that's it, just the three of them. And that's, I've got to redo that because I like having like the bonding. It's fun. So he's going to work, he's going to work his butt off, prepare for the game. So Elise, she's a, let me, let me tell you, she's a Supernatural fan. So that's probably where Elena gets like the ghost hunting aspiration from because she's a Supernatural fan. She's rebellious, hence her motorcycle that she loves. She loves her motorcycle. It's called the Beast. A beauty, a beauty in white. Very a nice, very nice. And she's a night owl and uh, clumsy and lucky. And Carson is broody. He was more so broody when before Elise came into his life because he was living the bachelor life his only hobby was his photography and he was just chilling like a villain but his life was more spiced up when his best friend Elena came to live with him so that was super fun I guess I could show you their their mansion to be I only decorated a, a little bit but definitely like modern suburban I was going for it's a little bit of a mess but I'm not a builder ideally I wanted like a cool long driveway but it I'm not much of like a planner when it comes to building I just like do one thing but I don't fully plan it out properly so like I might do like an overhead greenery out here in the future but we're just gonna keep it minimal not too decorated because we can't afford that so <laughs> We're, we're just going to keep it as it is and then we'll decorate it once we have the house purchase. The only things that I have decorated is just like some temporary to see, like temporary objects to see like the spacing and whatnot. I learned that from Deligacy De where she just like put like plain objects to see how everything would do and fit. At least I tried doing it up here. I tried doing it downstairs but then I got carried away and tried to decorate a little bit. It's not fully decorated very like house showy the living room i want to do like a cool uh fireplace over here with a big nice tv and i think that's all that i would do here maybe um some cool cc of like an under the stairwell shelving bookcase i could probably find so i'll keep a lookout on that for sure but this is like a nice view, view to the pool and mountains and water. Eventually in the pool, I want to like get it round. I suck at like doing landscape and like pool decorations, but I think I want to like round out the corners a little bit. I feel like that would be cool. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. It's so, oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> but we have um, some play things for the kids when they grow up and then this is the kitchen, which eventually I want to get similar shelvings to their old house up on here with some nice decor and miscellaneous objects. Oh my god, Riley is not happy. We're gonna cheat that. Destruction. Here you go. You a happy boy now. Um, but yeah, this is their dining. Not dining, this is their morning breakfast. With this gonna be their dining room. As I said, it's not fully decorated, but here you go. And then the white tiles are gonna be bathrooms with this being an gym or an office one of these two is going to be an office and gym i don't know which one and this is their garage for his future cars and her future collection of motorcycles but yeah that's that's pretty much it for now so video is not over yet because 
I was saving my game and look who's in the middle of, I don't know how it, no, she's about to give birth, okay? She, she is ready and she in pain and she's ready to get out this baby. So before we end this video, we're going to find out what the gender of the baby is. I have no names in preparation at all. Where is Carson? Oh no. Oh no. Carson is at work. He needs to get his butt over here to take her to the hospital because wife is priorities and you, you, it's a baby. So he's running. He's not even taking a car. He's, he's running there and he's going to meet up at the hospital apparently. I think she's driving there. Let's uh... <laughs> okay. She's taking her motorcycle. We're gonna take screenshots. What is this? We're, yep, we're taking screenshots. This is beautiful. Just pregos. This is the way you do it. This is the way to do it, okay? Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, where'd she go? All right, let's follow her. But let me give you like a full look on her before she she's done for with uh, giving birth. She's not gonna be in this maternity outfit anymore. Gonna go back to her regular clothes, but she's so cute. I love uh, the pearls. I love the baby doll dress. She's looking cute. She's ready to go. She's got her hair done. She's ready to see this baby into the world. It's gonna be beautiful. So it says the baby is coming. The water has broken. Contractions have started and the baby is on the way. Get the mother to a hospital soon or sit tight until the baby arrives. I always have my sims go to the hospital. I never had them just sit at home and have a, a, a home birth. How's Carson doing? Oh, he finally got his car. Nice going, buddy. A little bit too late, though. <laughs> the jogging didn't cut it. <laughs> when your life is just right and you get what you want. I don't know what song that is, but they're having a baby boy. I'm so excited. A happy mother and a smooth pregnancy, and he missed it. Let's pretend that he did not miss it. Let's pretend he was there on time. A happy mother and a smooth pregnancy makes for a happy baby. Since Elise's pregnancy went so well, you'll be able to choose two traits for him. Oh, I hope it's not twins, though. Let's see. Whoa, my god. What should we name him? Let's see. Teddy. Do we name him Teddy? Why not? I love the name Theodore. Theodore is cute. Oh, he's a disciplined child. It's so hard giving traits to children because you don't really know their, their personalities yet. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so I like discipline. We'll keep discipline. And the second trait that I like, oh, should we make him absent minded Or should we make him genius? <laughs> That's like 50-50. Do we give him the brains or do we not? Oh wow, he's gonna be like super disciplined. He's gonna be disciplined and genius. Who is this kid? Definitely not me. What is this? He wants to quit his job? What it ah uh, Dude, uh your wife's here. Aw, so we have baby Teddy. This is the new family. So super excited, the new mama. We we'll love it, we love it. But they're gonna be going home. This is why we need to quickly get money for we could buy that house. Because we don't have enough room. Uh, why are they going in separate cars? <laughs> Sims. Well, anyway, that's it, guys. Peace out. I hope that you enjoyed everything that you've seen today. I hope that you love the family. If you did, just let me know and I will keep you posted on future current household videos. Um, but I also stream on Twitch. You can catch me live whenever. So hit a follow over there and you'll get a notification when I go live. I also have a Discord. You could join. I also notify you when I go live. I hope that you have a nice day and bye. Okay.